zoom out real quick. All right, here we go. We're on number 12. Uh, number 12 on your study guide. This is a dimensional analysis question. Uh, so it's going to give you, so create a table and convert 21 miles per hour. So I'm going to do that in blue. So we have two different things here. We have miles per hour. Miles per hour. We want to change that to feet per second. Per second. Those are the. That's what we want to do here. Um, and I'll be honest with y'all on this question. Um, you're going to be given four possible answer choices, and it's already going to be done for you. You just have to really pick the one that's done correctly. So you want to make sure you know how to do it. So when we set this up, I'm going to go ahead and draw my line here. So what are we given? What are we given? We're given 21 miles. So 21 miles and then per hour. So that's one hour. So you have 21 miles per hour. Well, 21 miles per hour. Now, we're going to deal with this one just like we you know, normally do. Uh, if you need to, go back and watch other videos, but we'd like to deal with the top first. So to get rid of miles, we want to go from miles uh, to feet. So notice we have a miles to feet conversion up here. So if we have miles on top, then we need to have miles on the bottom. And what are we trying to go to? We're trying to go from miles to feet. So, and we have that conversion from miles to feet. So we put feet on the top. Well, how many feet are in a mile? 5,280 are in one mile. Okay, so some things are going to cross out here. Our miles will cross out. Miles will cross out. Hey, look what I'm left with. I'm left with feet. That's exactly what we wanted. That is exactly what we wanted. We wanted feet. Notice, feet, that's what we wanted. Perfect, you're doing the right thing. All right, so now we have feet, let's deal with the hour, because we have to change our hours here. We have to change our hours. Well, if hours is on the bottom, how do we get rid of hours? It has to be on the top, it has to be on the top. So hours, it has hours to minutes, but we're trying to go to seconds. So uh, they don't have to give us all the conversions, but we can go from hours to minutes. And just kind of figure it out from there. Use some inferencing. All right, so um, how many minutes are in an hour? Well, it tells you right there we have 60 minutes are in one hour. So what happens? Well, the hours cross out, hours cross out. Um, were we looking for minutes? No, we're looking for seconds. So we need to figure out how many seconds are in a minute. Okay, if minutes was here, let's put minutes at the top. And then how many, we're trying to go to seconds, and you should know this, <laughs> how many seconds are in a minute? Uh, well, there are 60 seconds in one minute. Perfect. Hey, whoa, whoa, is that allowed? Look at this. We just got to our seconds. Look at that. We found both of the things we wanted. We've got feet. And we've got seconds. That's exactly what we wanted. It's exactly what we wanted. Uh, now all you do from here is you multiply all the numbers on the top. So 21 times 5,280. Um, 5, I know this is something that Coach Bergdorf messed up on his calculator. So I'm going to plug it into my calculator times 5,280. And that's going to give us 110,880. That's on top. What's on bottom? Well, you have 1 times 1 times 60 times 60. Well, let's see, times 60, and that gives you 3,600 or 3,600. Well, we need to divide those. So 110880 divided by 3,600, and the answer will be 30.8. Thirty point eight feet per second. Thirty point eight feet per second. Um, that'd be the answer there. And I'll be honest with you, you actually, um, you actually don't need to really know this part. You just really need to make sure that the problem is set up correctly. That this is set up. That's really what we're going to be testing you on. Do you know? Uh, which process is correct. You know, miles is there, so you got to have miles there, feet there. Hours is there, to get rid of hours, you got to put hours on top, and it's on the bottom. Just make sure everything that you don't need is diagonal, and you can cross them out. 
Uh, again, if you have questions, feel free to ask your teacher tomorrow before the quiz, or just can just rewatch this video over and over again, or try the problem over again, um, or go teach somebody. I think that's a great way to learn, a great way to study is going to teach somebody else. So go teach your parents, guardians, um, just go teach somebody. Um, and there's that. Have a good one.